Hi everyone, Messi Coder back again with another Unity tutorial. This time it's audio mixers and volume controls. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make a decent audio control in your game so that it actually controls the volume properly. So when you get to about here, everything doesn't go silent. Fantastic. I know you just can't wait. In the next video after this one, I'm showing you how you can actually save these values in a very unique and messy way. So sit back, enjoy, and I'll see you all in a second. I've won Messi back inside Unity. This time we're playing about with volume control. We're going to be really loud or really quiet. We want to be able to control it. So first things first, I'm just going to go over here and create an audio mixer. I'm going to call this one Mixer. And if I'm opening it up, and I'm going to click on this little plus and we're going to make a couple of children under the master. Uh, if I just call this one uh, music and go back on here and I call this one effects. Now I've got a master, uh, well, mixer panel controly thing that will affect here the music and the effects. And if I go to the master, I right click in the volume here, I can expose the master, I expose you for who you are. And oh, hang on. And if I right click on here, I can call this one master. That's the name of my parameter now. And if I click on the music one, I do the same thing. Right click and click on expose and go over here. Right click and rename this one to music. And again on the last one here, effects, left click and over here, right click on the volume and expose the volume because that's the thing that I want to expose. And I go back over here, go to my expose parameters, right click and rename that one to be effects. Brilliant. So I've got my three exposed parameters that know what they're basically affecting. They're affecting the faders on the volume here. So if we go back over to this project, there it is. Lovely job. Now if I right click over here, I'm going to create a quick script. I'm going to call it messy sliders. Messy sliders. And over here inside messy sliders, we're going to be using, using Unity Engine UI and using Unity engine dot audio brilliant and inside here I'm just gonna first things first we're just gonna go ahead and say that requires component uh, type of and the type of component that we want is a slider so it needs to have a slider and we're gonna because we can say that we can go uh, slider and slider brilliant and now we can just get and return the slider that we know that exists. So we know because it can't have this this component can't live without having a slider. We know that we can just say get a component slider and that is what we're returning as the slider. Brilliant. Fantastic. And underneath that we're just also going to check in audio mixer, say public audio mixer and just going to call this one mixer. And here is a public string for a slider name or whatever we're going to call it, fader name or volume name. I might, volume name might have been better. So let's we call that one volume name, volume name. There we go. That sounds a little bit better. We don't need a start for now. Let's just get rid of that. And we don't need a void update. But what we do need is a public void update update value on change and we're going to pass through a float of our value and all we're going to say is mixer dot set the float and our volume name and the value is going to be this floaty value here we go i'm going to save that over on the unity as you saw i picked up some free music here we've got some music from all space it's got three different free packs and this nice pack here that's a collection of the 10 different themes has 86 different tracks in this and it's only uh, three cents shy of eight dollars on the unity asset store and over here inside unity i put together a nice little panel with a slider and a text i'm going to use this text later on and if i just add in here an audio source we're going to drag in uh, one of these tracks here and also on the output i'll put music just for now in there and to get so it's looped brilliant and we'll also add a component of our messy 
sliders that we added. And over here on the mixer, we'll add in our mixer and we'll put here volume name is the master. And on here, value change, we're going to drag that in over there and find our messy slider, update volume, uh, update value on change which has got a dynamic float now on the minimum value we need to put that as minus 80 and the max value we'll put a zero and now when we click play say so we're going down here if we go over to the audio mixer you can see it's actually going down we get to about here and you can't hear anything pretty much so that's not fantastic that's not what we're looking for that's because slider is linear and this thing here is logarithmic. And if you want to actually work out what all that jibber jabber means, I went over to Google. So I popped over to Google and I was like, well, scratching my head thinking, how do we, how do we solve this little shenanigan? And I realized I don't need to learn all about how it actually works. All I need to learn is how to use this here from C sharp and it, it works a charm. So back into here, all we need to do is change this sneaky little value to be uh, mathf.log, put our value in there, everyone's happy, and now we're going to say multiply that by 20, and that's it. It does, all, it does all of the work for us, we didn't have to even think about it. And in here, we need to change 0.0, or 0 0.1, uh, you need to be 0 0.0001, 0 .0001, and max range to be 1, and set the default to be a 1 as well. So there we go. Now, when we click play, do -do 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 -do. we get down to halfway, we can still hear it going do 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 do, do 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 do. Fantastic. Get down to the bottom and it's nice and quiet. So much better than it was before. Brilliant. That is fantastic. Well, we need to do a little bit more magic. So with the magic of pausing, we're going to make some changes in here. So we're going to change the string. We're going to add some variables. I'm going to do a little bit of magic on the start. Right, here we go. So we've changed this uh, string to be a private with a serialized field, and we've added in another one for the text. So volume label is a serialized field. Now we've made a start on here. So we've got an update value and change. We're calling that, but we're calling it with the value from our slider. We're also on the slider. We've got an on value change added listener on there, and that is coming over here, and it's going to be doing the same thing, calling this little method. And let's also add a little bit of error handling while we're at it. So if mixer does not equal null, and also down here, we're going to say if the volume label does not equal null. So we have actually put something in that text field. Um, and you know what? I'm only going to put one line in here, so I don't need to do that. We're going to say volume uh, label dot text equals. And how are we going to say that we're going to round up that number or from our value we're going to multiply that by 100 so that we've got a nice number we're going to convert that into a string and then add on a percent sign now you don't really need to convert it to a string because as soon as you add on that text it will go you know what i can't be a float anymore so i better be a string and that kind of works okie dokie click save back inside here and say let's go and remove this event we don't need that anymore and over here we need to put back oh no, we've got it here master if it will be removed but it's still there and let's just slide in our text brilliant that's in there and now when we click play hopefully this number will change oh my ears there you go and it's working the numbers going down the sounds going down you can see the mixer's going down. I think everyone is happy as a badger. If you want to see more of my crazy videos, click on the left side of your screen now. And down below, there's that big juicy subscribe button. And right next to it is the magic bell. That if you click it, it will tell you if I've got a new video coming out. Till next time.